What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Zill, and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. The minute I turn this camera on, the fucking heat comes on, so I'm pretty sure y'all can still hear me. It's gonna go off in a minute. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you're a first time viewer. Appreciate you viewing the video. All right, I want to talk about something that needs to be talked to, that needs to be talked about, and I actually warned a lot of people, and that is about the NBA All Star Weekend, which took place in my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. Now I heard the game was good. I did not watch it. I heard the slam dunk contest was trash. Good, but not good. I'm saying good because I didn't watch it, so I didn't fucking miss anything, you know. Oh, shit, I keep forgetting about these shades. Make sure you get your shades by shades by DMH.com. You know, got to keep it, you got to have your eye game right, especially when you're outside, because that sun be kicking your ass. But I got to talk about the events that happened in the city. It's unfortunate that this is anywhere that you can't go out and just have a good time. I understand that. If you in your city and you know how it rocks, you understand. You know how to move. Some people don't. Some people are just naive to bullshit and think, oh, it can't happen to me or whatever, but shit turns out it can't happen to you or somebody close to you. It might not be you, but it hits close to home. So, of course, there were a few robberies. That That's nothing new. You know, nothing surprising. You know, I wish I could, like, put it on the screen for y'all to show the shit. It is coming soon. Got to get this money right right quick. But um, I'm going to show y'all the shit that I seen. Three dudes was robbed by four males in a hoodie with a machine gun pistol. Or a machine pistol. Whatever the fuck. So there were robberies, and that's just one of the situations that happened. Then there was a big ass fight. And salute to this guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm giving credit when it's due. I don't give a fuck if those dudes were drunk or not. He whooped their ass. So I'm gonna actually show this shit to y'all. I don't think I'm gonna get flagged on YouTube for this. So I'm most definitely, I got, I, I, I gotta show y'all this fight. It's fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> Hit him with a belt. So he knocked out the first dude ASAP. One man beating up three niggas. All right, y'all get the picture. My hand getting tired. But um, it's chaotic, man. You can't go nowhere without some bullshit going on. And, you know, a lot of people be like, man, you be making people scared to live. I'm not telling nobody how to live or making them scared how to live. I'm just telling you be cautious. This type of shit is going to go down. 
Now, from my understanding, the story was the guy was by himself with a few females, and I guess them guys were harassing the girls, and I guess he asked them to stop. They didn't, so shit went down. Um, four people were murdered. I don't know these guys at all. This is on the Cleveland, the Cleveland Remembrance page if you want to follow it. But if you're not from Cleveland, I'm pretty sure you probably won't follow it. But if you want to see the shit that goes down, because you got a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people on Instagram. Cleveland, Ohio, always been one of those cities to pick on. Like, we soft and we ain't about shit. It's nothing extravagant here. You can say that. But it's a whole different ball game when you actually come here. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Black Youngster. He know what's going on. It's a few rappers. Future know. Kodak Black know. A lot of niggas know. When they come to Cleveland, like, whoa. You know, um, this ain't what we really thought. Um, shout out to Bosco. Funny ass nigga. But he, he, he low-key be disrespectful to Cleveland and shit. Ain't you from Ohio? What's in Ohio? Rick Ross done dissed us. Uh, the one guy from the Chicago Bulls, the little one motherfucker, he dogged us. And, you know, but, you know, people that actually come here, they know what time it is. They they see. It's not, all right, I'm out of town. I hear about it, how soft these niggas is. But when I got there, it was a whole nother ball game. I'll show y'all this one, too. What's the matter for, bro? I'm in Cleveland. I'm in, I'm in Cleveland right now with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I was outside, I, I was outside for the go in. They shut the show down. They said two guys, no, they, they got the fight. Clean two guys. No, man. <laughs> man, I love Black Gunster, man. But um, there's a lot of celebrities that come here and they admit it. Like, I did not think this shit was what it was. Cleveland is fucked up, man. Beautiful place. Fucked up, though. You know, we, you know, this is a city that don't really get too many opportunities. So that's why niggas go so hard on what they do. You know, same with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to brand myself. Niggas like, what kind of douchebag wears himself? Me, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, who else I'm supposed to wear? Somebody else? But, um, it's unfortunate, man. We we gotta stop this shit as black people, to be honest with you. I'm not trying to sound like one of those woke motherfuckers, nothing like that, but we gotta stop this shit. Shit like this stops money from coming to the city. Because, like, oh, these motherfuckers barbaric. They crazy. They don't want to come here. You know? And it's unfortunate. Motherfuckers, it was only reported that four dudes got killed. There were there were more murders than that. There were more robberies than that. See, everybody, it's 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 like three or four different mirrors, probably that night. Nigga, I'm about to go out, about to get fresh. I'm about to fuck tonight. About to get it, get it bad, bitch tonight. You got it, one bitch. I'm about to go ahead and throw my fucking dress. I'm about to catch me a trick tonight. I'm about to get me some money tonight, bitch. And all that little retarded shit. But then in these other mirrors, you got these niggas. I'm about to lick one of these niggas tonight. About to get on the floor tonight. About to rob this nigga tonight. Look at all these different mirrors and conversations they talk to themselves. Oh, I'm about to kill this op tonight. Catch this fuck nigga, lay him down tonight. Everybody saying something different in the mirror. And then boom. All-Star Weekend, all four of those mirrors on one place. All hell breaks loose because everybody' intentions is not to fucking have fun. This is what I was trying to tell people. I'm like, it's about to be a crazy weekend. And motherfuckers was telling me I'm being negative. I'm like, no, I'm giving you a heads up. I, I'll show you all that shit too. This is the last one I'm going to show. This is the warning. This is the warning I gave people. Right there. I said, I'm going to be watching my news feed. So I already knew some dumb shit was about to go down.
I said my I said my ass in the house. Got me a little bottle. Got a few pieces. Watch Netflix, watch YouTube, and laugh. I'm not missing shit. Anything I need to see, got the TV, got the phone. I can watch it from there. I don't need to go downtown. What the fuck am I going down there for? For what? To see celebrities that don't give a hot donkey fuck about you? They don't care about you, man. They, they don't. They don't. Most of them motherfuckers won't even sign an autograph for you. Won't even shake your hand. None of that shit. You need to pay all this money to go see them. Now, if you down there networking and doing the other shit, that's 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 a different ball game. But if you just down there to be down there, get footage or whatever, whatever. But whatever comes to you, it is what it is. Now, these four guys that that passed away, condolences to their family. You know that's unfortunate. But I can look at them and tell these were some gangster niggas. You know, I can tell they were some gangster niggas. I'm like, okay, yeah, these dudes were like, they out here. They out here thugging, you know what I'm saying? And thugging can go left or right. It can go right for you or it can go left. So it's unfortunate, you know, when I read shit like that, I'm like, damn, another one gone. We lose so many people in Cleveland. It's ridiculous. I think we rank number six or seventh on the most dangerous cities to live in. But then again, we get people saying that we soft. We ain't about that. We ain't about shit. And this is a YouTuber on here. I'm not going to say his name. He was talking shit on the Bone versus 3-6 shit when I guess they was fighting. And I guess he was saying, yeah, the South ain't never been worried about no soft-ass niggas. I'm like, bro, you know, it's okay to root for your, your, your section, your part of the map, but don't get to insulting. I'm not going to say fuck them down South niggas. They ain't about shit because down South niggas get down. The West Coast niggas get down. New York niggas get down. The Midwest, we get down. There's nowhere you can move in the United States that you ain't going to run into some niggas that's more gangster or just as gangster as you. Stop that bullshit, my nigga. I'm just, th this video is to really just show you what Cleveland has to offer. You know, there's a lot of good, but there's a lot of fucking bad, man. Yo, we about to have fun tonight. Somebody didn't come out to have fun. This shit was premeditated before they twisted the doorknob. We out here to cause chaos. We out here on some nigga shit. And people wonder why I stay in the crib. There's nothing out there. But bullshit, COVID, murder, pregnancy. That's about it. I, I don't want no smoke with none of it. I mind my business to stay out the way. It's sad, man. So I don't want everybody thinking, oh, All-Star Weekend was all peaches and cream. It was all peaches and cream from that screen or that phone. But if you was really here, shit went, shit went down. But it was a lot of fun shit that went down, I heard. But I didn't hear too much fun shit. I heard more bad. <clears throat> and it's sad that the city don't stick together. Most of us hate on each other and shit like that. And by the way. Uh, I'm going to make a video. I want all my subscribers to tap in. I want to know where all y'all from. I want to know who am I talking to? What country? What city? What state? I, I, I really want to see something right quick before I can prove a point. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to prove a point. And I want to prove to you, if you're watching this and you got something going on, don't let your city discourage you. People outside your city, state, fuck it. The, the goddamn country are going to support you. Don't let all oh, people in the city don't fuck with me. Don't support me. Man, keep pushing. Keep going. I got like 211 videos. Most of my traffic come from the Amazon videos, but I talked about way more shit. Way more. If you go down and go down and see, you won't see this background. You'll see me with a background with black bricks. I've been talking other shit about Amazon, about the type of times we're living in, the type of situations we see and hear every day. If you want to put your opinion out, start you a YouTube, man. Start you something. If you got anything you got going on, push yourself. I don't give a fuck if you a singer, an actor, comedian, rapper. Don't let nobody tell you you don't need to do that. Don't let nobody say you at a certain age you shouldn't do it. It is what it is. What the fuck was that dude? Rest in peace to him. Hell no. To the no, no, no. That nigga like he was old as shit. But he had made a hit. You feel what I'm saying? If, if, it, if it made people dance and make them sing and move along to it, don't let nobody tell you you need to be a certain age to do some shit. Do that shit. That's your life. That's your brain. 
Kevin Gates said this shit, and I'm not even a Kevin Gates fan, but I love his interviews. Rapping, no, but when he talks, got my attention. You have your own mind. You don't have to be what people want you to be. Have people hate you for who you are rather than love you for who the fuck you ain't. So don't let your city discourage you, man, or discourage you on anything you got going on in your life. Do it, man. But that's the video for the day. Get right or get wrong. Get right. Start listening to some good advice. It can help you live a lot longer and be a lot more successful. Get wrong. Be the basic statistic bullshit motherfucking person out here. Shout out to O'Shea Dude Jackson. He just showed me a video about these PPP loans. Niggas think they really got away with this shit. And then niggas is on the internet bragging about it, posting it. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I, I, I don't understand no more, man. That's why I don't talk so much on Instagram no more. Because I sound like the hater. The nigga that's oh, mad about people getting money. Not mad about that at all. Me, I'm trying to help you. But my help sounds like hate. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Most definitely follow me on Instagram, imzel 46 I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Y'all take it easy. Be safe and dangerous and wear your mask, man.